Hi everyone. I have already created an invigilation duty list uh, which was in Malayalam. So it was difficult to understand for others. So I am uh, translating into English. Uh, this is a Google sheet. So initially it contains serial number, the name of the faculty, the department to which he belongs. Then here they give here the dates are given and the session of uh, exam is given. And here the total number of four noon and afternoon sessions. And here it's showing some error that will be filled when we enter the faculty name. Also in the portal you can see the current duty count, actual duty count required, which is not uh, <coughs> not added. The number of students, uh, staff for thirty students. Yeah, the only data field right now is this two. Okay. That is total number of afternoon sessions and total number of afternoon sessions. If I'm changing uh, an afternoon to forenoon, it will be highlighted. The count changes five and seven. Okay. So initial stage is to enter the faculty name. Okay. After entering the, entering the faculty name only, this uh, formulas will be activated. Okay. So I am entering the faculty name as staff one okay. and i'm dragging this uh, so you can see some changes have came here and over here also some changes have came okay. so i am adding a total of uh, let's see uh, 25 uh, a 25 faculty okay 28 28 faculty i am added okay. and you can enter the department also so now i am keeping in plan okay so for my uh, I am hiding rest of the rows. I have added 28 faculty. <coughs> okay. So, first is to enter the total count of students for each day. That is, each day we have to enter the total count of students who are appearing for exam. So, I have created a count here. I am copying this. I am adding this count. Okay, while adding this count, uh, you can see uh, the star per student is uh, that is a formula just divided by 30. You can see 481.92. Okay. And the actual duty count required is 4 plus 1, it is 5, 8 plus 1, 9, 1.9, which is round to 2, plus 1, 3. Okay, if uh, that plus 1 is the reserve uh, faculty, if you don't want a reserve faculty, remove this plus from, from the formula so i have added plus one to everything okay 8.3 is 9 and plus one is 10 okay and the star per student per 30 students is given you can if you want a chain you can uh, remove this 30 and whatever count is required you can add that also and uh, <coughs> here the total number of uh, duties for four is 39 total number of duties for afternoon is 38 and then this is the total number of duties per staff that is for noon and afternoon is 1.4 and 1.4 that is round up to 2 so each faculty will have a duty of for noon duty of 2 and an afternoon duty of 2 so now uh, we are making the entries here the entries must be in x only okay. so i am uh, for first day the total uh, faculty required for examination is 5 so when I am entering, entry must be in X, uh, X, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have added 5. Uh, at that time you can see here, uh, the current duty count is 5 and it is filled. If I am trying to add the, another duty here, it shows that I am violating that. And here you can see the count of uh, after duty. So here there is a condition that is uh, the number of duties for a single staff must be two during forenoon and afternoon. Let's try with afternoon. I'm giving another afternoon duty for the same staff. One, two. You can see on the right side it is showing open. That is the count has been reached. Okay. Okay. So F15 violates the data. That means here the duty count is three. So if accidentally that occurs. Uh, we will be aware about that. Okay. And if I am giving another afternoon duty for the same guy, 
it show exist because the duty allotted for a single stop during afternoon is uh, two. If I am giving another, it show exist. So we have to remove that and give it to another person. Uh, this is done for equal number of duties for each stop. So if I am entering here, you can see the count changes out. It also violates uh, because the total count needed is four. I want to fill it. Uh, now for another after duty, it's okay, it's showing okay, it's showing okay. I am entering here, so it's showing excess. So entry must be removed uh, like that. Like that, whole uh, data can be done. Uh, here, the total number of faculties. Let's see uh, one, two, three. Uh, three is excess, so delete it and give to another. Uh, that is also excess. So, Give it to another guy. Here there is an excess uh, duty, so remove it and give it to another guy. Let's try with four room also. There are like take this to four room. We haven't done uh, no four room. So I am entering four room duties. Okay, that is exceeded the limit. So that is also exceeded the limit. So the four room duty is okay. It's, uh, okay for them. If I am entering another four room duty, you can see excess. Okay. If I, I want to add a uh, extra day, uh, let me insert one, insert a column, okay. give a date that is to be March and the session that is likely to be after. But the count never changes, count is same. Uh, you can see here. Only when this formula is copied to the next cell, the count changes. In this third man and again. If I am copying this to the next cell, the count changes. You can see it was 39 and 30, and now it changes to 39 and 40. But the count must be uh, depending upon the number of students, it must be 25. So you can add, insert a column here. Similarly, you can insert a row here also. So this is about the sheet, okay, if you are interested, uh, you can feel free to contact me.